Hello there. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to properly set up a server by yourself in either on your main computer, your backup computer, or a server hosting website. So let's get into it. First off, you need to go to the Minecraft website and find a release article. And when you do that, you'll be, you can scroll all the way down here and then click on the minecraft server.jar and it will it will be downloaded now the other way you can do it is by going into your minecraft launcher yourself go to the patch notes page and click on one of these and it will give you basically the same thing click it and it will be saved now to get it working all you have to do is open up your your file your file folder and put in the server.jar. So, now that we got the server in here, we just click it twice, activating it, opening the file, and it will spew out all the server details that you need, except for the fact that it won't. All you have to do is go into the EULA, edit it to be EULA equals True. Click File, Save, Exit. Now, click the server again twice. And it will read that EULA and generate a server. Okay, now that it generated a server, you can just type in slash stop, and it will save everything. Now you've got all your things that you need, and this will be the server that is that you downloaded from the article website. Now, moving along, what if you want a server to perform a little bit better than what vanilla has to offer by optimizing a sim some simple stuff? Well, you just copy here and put it in fabric. This is going to be the fabric loader. So we're using the fabric loader to load this. But how does the fabric loader work? Well, first off, we have to go to the fabric website, fabricmc.net. Now, with the fabric loader, we have to click use. And download the installer. There are also installation instructions if you want to use it. So we got the installer. What we also need are the mods that go along with it. So these are mods that I recommend. This is this one is necessary. These ones I recommend. And it's just you could just read them here. They're found on the Curse Forge website. And instead of clicking install, this installs straight to Twitch. Click download. And your download will begin in a couple seconds. And I'll do that for all of them. Okay, now that we're done with looking at all of the things we need to do on the internet, we can go to our fabric loader. And create a new folder called mods and put all those mods that you just downloaded in there. Like so. It'll look something like this. Now, all you need to do is install Fabric. Now, how do you do that? Well, you click on the Fabric installer and it will load up this. Now, we're going to set the install location. Also, make it a server install. So install it. Select your location. It can be anywhere. And it will install like this. The builds will be updating anytime. And you have to select your Minecraft version here. We, we have selected the right Minecraft version, the one that we downloaded previously. Then we install. 
and we install the server.jar. Now, the next thing we have to do is launch this. As you saw, it created a launch property file and a launch file directory. And we have this mix in thing, which I don't understand yet. <laughs> but we click here in the properties file, we can see that it redirects or it chooses the server.jar. Now, this means that you can, you can name them anything you want, and, but it has to lead to your server.jar. You name this server, and then this one, vanilla, 1.16.1, then you have to change it in the server launcher property file in order to make it work. We won't be going over the server property file because you can just look that up and check what you want with it. But after you port forwarded your server and you're able to start it up and let people join with your IPv4, IPv6 address, you just press the server launcher and the server will be started. As you can see, it's definitely fabric by the way that it says load configuration file for lithium at the top. You can now check if it's fabric and going into our server. I put in my credentials and as you can see, the fabric server has launched. Now, if I click play here, once we enter the world, we can check what kind of server it's gonna be by pressing F3. Now, as you can see at the top left, three lines down, it says fabric in quotation server. So that, that shows us that we did it correctly. And disconnect from it, stop the game, and end it there. Now, how do we upload Fabric to custom servers? First off, you will have to copy this, 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 and this over to your server. These things are important. These things are needed in your file directory. Also the config for Lithium as well. I'm going to show you two server hosting websites that are already running Fabric. So here we go. We are on Cubed Host right now. We have File Manager here. And as you can see, these are all in. Don't mind the plugins, that's different. As you can see, we have, I have renamed it to be vanilla.jar. But where is the Fabric Server Launcher? The thing about the Fabric Server Launcher is that for cubed host, you need it to be in the jar file. Now this jar file doesn't exist anywhere else in regular Minecraft server loading. This is only for this service. Now, when you go into jar file, you can put in your cube host. Now, why is the name custom.jar? That's because in the overview page, we can see that we have the server type set to custom and you need to have that. So in order to launch this, I'll remind you, this is the fabric server launch jar that you saw, but it needs to be renamed custom. Now this didn't have to be changed. Only the one in the jar file. Because this will still read the server launch properties and go straight to vanilla. As you can see here, it goes straight to vanilla.jar. You basically copy everything from the server that wasn't part of the vanilla server onto here. Now the same goes for MC Pro Hosting. Now, with MC Pro Hosting, we go into the, the file access and basically do the same thing. But here's the thing. These are the quick options. And I renamed mine I renamed the, the fabric launch server to server.jar and you have to click here to change it. And after you click that, you have to click save quick options here. You can save it here. And once you do everything here on each server website, you, you make it stop. You check the console, see if it fully stopped and then press start again. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day, good night, good life and see you all in the next one. Bye.